as you can see now you have this kind of a falling effect but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually increase our glue strength because everything is just dropping so smoothly that doesn't just sound right you see it's actually dropping so smoothly so I'm gonna go ahead and change the parameters a little bit see how that goes so the parameter I'm gonna change is actually the glue strength from 0 to 0 0.5 and this one to 0 0.1 and next I'm gonna simulate again and see how it plays okay so this is actually simulates I put a, a glue value of 1.5 and actually simulates pretty not really the best kind of simulation but it's getting there but it's not really what we want because you can see that uh, oh, if you can let me view this the thing is uh they're not actually colliding really well and i think the problem is because of uh it doesn't have enough detection on the edges over there so you might have to recreate the whole ground system and i'm try i'm i'm just assuming that's the case but i'm gonna go ahead and actually try prove that see whether that's the case or not so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is actually create an illustrator file and actually so right here i'm gonna create an illustrator file in illustrator and bring it back in into dops okay so I must go ahead and pull that up Okay, so here I got an Illustrator file that I just did. Uh, this is the same thing I've done before. I actually been in the there's a tutorial which I just did a few days ago in Thinking Particles, and if you look at that, uh, the one I called Breakaway Text, where I break away some text, you can see, use the same effect where you just draw lines and use the Divide Path object below, something like that command. And this is the Illustrator file which I just imported. It's pretty big as of right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and transform that, make it smaller. Okay, so I got my file pretty much inside the scene, even though my pivot is not in the center of the world, but uh, that's pretty much the file over there, uh, right there in the middle of the grid. I might just go ahead and hide the grid, but this is the file, and pretty much we're going to do the same thing we did earlier with this. So I'm going to actually pretty much use the same line of stuff, so it's going to create, it's going to use all of this stuff. So... Um, well, the thing right now is actually it has uh, Bezier curves on it, so we might want to actually do a convert before this. So, and uh, so you're sourcing, you're gonna do a convert. So that way, we only have polygons. And now that you got that set up, all you gotta do is actually link this to this right here, and pretty much everything should pop up exactly the same way but the only difference is in this particular instance if i press the view key uh, wireframe you see you got these little lines inside over here but if you plug in the file that we originally created from uh, houdini this one created in uh, illustrator is just a rectangle with the lines cut out but it has like points in the middle so it actually creates extrusions in the middle uh, lines you know I can what can I kind of call the detail or something in the middle so if I look at the extrusion over here everything is just straight as you can see there's no um, you know edges in between for collision I'm not really good in uh, di rigid dynamics but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and you can see all the detail in between I'm gonna go ahead and simulate this and if it actually works then you do know that you need some detail in between then you might have to reevaluate your file that you created in Houdini but I'm just saying this was a tutorial actually it's a tutorial which is actually I'm making as I'm going so I'm gonna go ahead and go to DOPS over here and I'm actually resim this this is actually is actually being recorded I'm making this as I'm going this is I don't even know what I'm thinking but let's check it out 
Okay, so this is just to prove that uh, what I thought was actually what it is. Now, it might not really work in this particular instance, I'm just assuming, but you can see the drag working. Pretty much, you can see all the um, what you call it, the you know, the kind of pulling down of the of the gravity over there so pretty much you can see all the you can see how some of these are actually just going down some of them are being pulled up by the friction and stuff some of them are going down and up so you can see all the rumbling I'm gonna just let it sim out then let's discuss this and I'm gonna finish this up as the main tutorial and I'm done so I'm gonna sim this actually in plain view of you guys and that's the simulation playing and you can see how it actually sims out really nicely even though some actually float I don't know whether because of the glue I put the glue of 1.5 over here so I think and I think also put the keyframes to 31 so you might want to change the number over here so it goes up to 31 so you might want to change the number over there but Matter of fact, I'm pretty much done with this, so I'm I'm pretty much happy with this. I'm gonna let you guys play with the numbers a little bit. I like the way it drags around, then just drops. Sandeep, that's your thing. Hopefully, it worked out for you. If not, let me know. I'm still here. Then I'm gonna redo the whole thing again. I'm gonna just send you the file this time, no tutorial. So I'm pretty much done with this. Let's call it quits. Namaste by Firmilenge. For all you guys that see you next time, okay? See ya.